Mel Merge has three questions, are question A, B and C. Question A is creating the data file, also known as the data source, but because we're creating it in MS Word, this will be known as the table. We need to know that a table consists of field names and consists of records. The field names is, all, is known as the headings, which is name, surname, street, city and code. Invite 1, 2, 3 and 4, those are just indicate, indicators um, to show us which um, members are invited or how many members are invited with the particular details listed below. The instruction says it's creating the data file, save it as demo, make a printout with your name and surname, and question 1 as a footer and change the page orientation to landscape. Now we are have, we have to create a table and we're not going to use invite one, two, three and four as headings because they are not the headings, they are not the field names. So I have to save time, I have created the table which is name, surname, street, city, and code. So if we have a look back at the severe, we're counting one, two, three, four, five columns going down, and one, two, three, four rows, plus the field names is five. We go back to Word. In the table, you can see it's one, two, three, four, five, and one two three four five and i've entered all the information displayed um the only thing that i have not put in over here and have changed is changing it to landscape so i'm going to layout orientation and landscape and they're asking please we do not want this to overlap we want it in a single row so we can extend our table um footer would be your name and surname and on the right hand side would be question one a I'm gonna close that um, I'm gonna keep my cursor in the top column in the first cell in front of the first name and I need to save this I have already saved it but I'm going to save it again you need to know where to save it after printing it because you will have to retrieve it again so once I'm done with my table I closing my word document over there so question 1a is done question 1b is open up a blank MS Word document and set the tab stock to 10 centimeters for the address, create a header with your name and surname, left and right, question 1b, type the following letter, which is also known as a primary document, for mail merging the members, insert today's date using the date and time function, and insert the merge fields where the brackets are. So this over here is basically what they're asking. Create a tab stop, 10 centimeters, type the information, insert today's date using the function and then inserting the merge fields where the brackets are indicated. I've started off with typing the document and we all know how to do tab stop. If we have forgotten we go to paragraphs and tabs and we're going to set it at 10 centimeters and we're going to click on set. Remember what it was asked in uh, level N4 could be asked in N5. For example, tab, stop, step, transpose, all your manuscript signs that you need to know still find and replace. So I've typed the document, or I've just typed in the header, and they are asking over here to insert, so I'm going to press tab again, it goes to 10 centimeters because they are saying insert today's date using the function using the function so when I I click on insert and on my right hand side I have date and time I'm gonna click on date and time 
and I am going to use the full date, which is that of there, the 13th of August. Um, you can click on update automatically, so it'll tomorrow if I update, if I open it up the document to change the 14th. I'm not, it's not necessary to do it now, so I'm going to click on OK, and automatically today's date appears there. I'm going to press Enter, Enter, and I'm going to go back to the instructions. So they're saying name, surname, street, city, and code. So now we need to start with the function, the moment function, the important part of it. We're going to click on mailings. We're going to click on start mail merge. We are busy with the letter, so I'm going to click on letter. We're going to select recipients. Type a new list. No, we have created the table, so we're going to use, use an existing list. So I'm going to click on use existing list. And now I need to browse for the file, the table that we just printed out now, which we completed. So I've saved it under documents, mail merge clip, and that is demo activity one. I'm going to click on open. Nothing has happened as yet, but there's further options available. So they're asking now to insert name and surname. So I'm going to click on insert mail merge. And asking name, space, surname, enter. The next one is street, city, and code. So insert, street, insert, city, and insert, code. Um, we have inserted the header. We have done the date function and we have done the whole mail merge process so we need to print out b as well remember b question b is always brackets this is important they have also said that this must be in bold so this is the most important aspect now so i'm going to save it and i'm going to print it you don't necessarily have to close it okay if you have closed it you can just reopen it and click on yes um, accepting the data um, merge fields that has been imported already to this primary document so um, i'm going back over here after printing question b with the brackets they are saying question c retrieve the demo activity remember we haven't closed this as yet and just change the header from b to c merge the data file and primary document to generate the four letters and make a printout only of David and Susan. So I'm going back to my Word document and now under mailing still, it's still active over here. Can you see active uh, preview result? I click on active preview result and I can scroll between the, the records now. Uh, this is record one, which is Anne. Two is David. Uh, three is Nico. And four is Susan. So I also have to change B to C. B to C. And I can print out what is required. They're only asking for David. They're only asking for Susan. So Susan, I can print out. I can click on File and Print. Print Susan out. I can scroll down. I click on Mailings again. I scroll back for David. And I can click on File and Print. That's question C. As easy as that. But I'm actually defeating the, um, the purpose over here because they're asking us to merge it. It's just easy for us for the examination purposes to do it. But we can click on Finish individuals all of them that's Anne I scroll down to David I can scroll down to Nico and I can scroll down to Susan but remember when you are printing they're asking you only to hand in David and Susan so mail merge consists of three questions a the table make sure you know what field what the field names are how many columns how many rows 
Uh, B is inserting uh, the, the merge documents or the merge document, the data source, which is the table with the steps I explained now, and then C is printing out the names. I hope that assisted you. Uh, please feel free to ask me any other questions. Um, data labels I will touch on a bit later. Thank you, class.